Hello friends, I am Anvesha and I welcome all of you to this channel. Uh, if you are new to the channel, please subscribe to the channel and also click the bell icon to get notified for the upcoming videos. In this video today, we are going to analyze one editorial from the Hindu newspaper. Okay, so now we will be uh, studying the difficult words at first and then we will go into the editorial. An academy is going to start new batches for bank exams on 27th January. This is a batch for SVI PO 2022 exam and in these batches you will get complete coverage of the syllabus, also you will get PDF study material, unlimited access to tests, weekly quiz and mock tests, also you can uh, get your doubts solved in the doubt clearing sessions. The sessions will be conducted here in this batch, the session will be conducted in Hindi and the notes will be provided in English. Now this batch is for all bank exams. This one is for IBPS and SBI PO 2022 exam. You can uh, have a look at the educators. Again these batches are for IBPS PO, all other bank exams and SBI PO exams. In all these batches the complete syllabus will be covered from the scratch. Okay. Have a look at the batches. Now, um, an academy also has free test series for bank exams. This is the schedule for the free test series. There is a ask a doubt, ask a doubt feature in an academy. So uh, here you can see how you can ask your doubts. So you can get your doubts solved instantly. And this feature is available on an academy website. An academy also has iconic apart from plus in the iconic uh, subscription you get priority in doubt solving and also you get priority in live classes this is the an academy iconic price so if you apply the coupon code Annie you get 10% discount on this prices okay and this is the plus price here also if you apply the coupon code Annie you get 10% discount so if you feel that you need the guidance of a teacher for preparing um, and if you want to prepare from scratch you can definitely take an academy plus subscription also uh, if you want to prepare only for mains you can take an academy plus subscription because there are many practice batches for mains examination i will uh, suggest you if you take the subscription i suggest you to go for this plan 12 months plan this is going to be an economic plan and also uh, you know uh, in the 12 months plan you don't have to renew the plan again and again right or you can either take the 12 months plan of iconic or the 12 months plan of plus while taking the plan don't forget using the coupon code annie for 10 percent discount the first word here is dichotomy Dichotomy is a noun, okay, part of speech is noun. Dichotomy means a division or separation, okay. Discourse, discourse is a noun and discourse means discussion, debate, okay. Superfluous, ends in O-U-S, so this is an adjective and superfluous means unnecessary, something that is unnecessary, something that is extra redundant, okay. Facet. Facet is a noun and facet means aspect, an as, uh, aspect, a characteristic of something, face, okay. Substantive, substantive is an adjective and substantive means something that involves matters of major importance. There is one more meaning of this word, substantive, which is, which is of good quantity. Inherent, inherent is an adjective and inherent means inborn, okay, inbuilt or existing as permanent, jo janam se rahe. Rhetoric, rhetoric means a story, an expression. Obscure, obscure can work both as a verb and as an adjective. 
sorry sorry both as a verb and as an adjective yes and as an adjective okay obscure means to hide something when it acts as a verb it means to hide something and when it acts as an adjective it means unclear or hazy it it can act both as a verb and as a noun it means help gauge gauge means to measure or calculate gauge is a verb evade is a verb evade means to avoid or escape envisage is a verb envisage means to predict to foresee foresee to foretell something imprimatur imprimatur means official approval it is a noun parity parity is a noun parity means equality jurisprudence is a noun jurisprudence means a legal system today's editorial is false dichotomy false dichotomy means a false separation a separation that shouldn't exist okay now this article says this um, editorial says that there has been a debate there has been a debate between merit and reservation okay and supreme court has addressed this debate once again now there are two things merit reservation okay and that's why it is called binary and this binary is misleading binary involving two things what are the two things merit and reservation okay <clears throat> and this is a misleading binary and this merit versus reservation this has created public and judicial discussion or debate for years okay now government that is ruling the ruling government the government that is in power is in favor of that is the government that is in power wants to give reservation what is reservation reservation means sc st obc ews all these quotas okay these are reservations and you have ph quota so these are all reservations which means that some seats are reserved for these candidates okay the general quota candidate cannot get these seats fine if there are 100 seats then 60 seats are reserved for these people okay so here government wants to give reservation to obcs for undergraduate and postgraduate medical and dental courses okay undergraduate means mbbs postgraduate md dental course undergraduate bds postgraduate mds so government wants to give uh, these reservation facility that is available to the scs and sts these facilities to the obc as well in the undergraduate and postgraduate medical and dental courses fine now the court has said that the binary has become superfluous which binary this one merit versus reservation this binary has become superfluous redundant okay now the courts have come uh, to recognize the idea of substantive equality which sees affirmative action not as an exception to the equality rule but as a facet of the equality norm this means that substantive what is substantive equality substantive equality means what is the meaning of substantive we just now read involving matters of major importance and good quantity of adequate okay so the government thinks that if you want to make equality adequate if there should be adequate equality then affirmative action which means which means supportive action supportive means uh, in support of reservation supportive action should be taken and this supportive action is not an exception to the equality rule it is not that if you give reservation to these candidates equality will be um, uh, hampered it is not like that it is actually a way of giving equality a way of generating equality okay now what is equality what is equality 
now if you take part in a race okay if you take part in a race then all the competitors should start from the same position only then we can say there is equality so formal equality means everyone competes on equal footing everyone starts from an equal position that is what is formal equality okay but this formal equality is inadequate it is not sufficient to address social inequalities okay to solve social in, in, uh, inequalities and inherent that is inherent means inborn the inborn disadvantages of some sections of the society so uh, what the court thinks what supreme court thinks is sc st obc people they are from less advanced sections and they have some inborn disadvantages so they cannot start from the same position as general category candidates so they must be given some privileges okay so some provisions should be made to help them compete with the advanced classes some uh, facilities should be given to them okay now the next paragraph says the competitive examination may be necessary for distribution of e educational opportunities but it does not enable equal opportunity for those competing without the aid of social and cultural capital inherited inherited skills and early access to equal schooling quality schooling this means that whenever you take a competitive examination like the net for medical entrance okay now this examination is taken this examination is taken for distribution of educational opportunity so if your rank is good in this examination if your rank is within 1000 uh, say you get into a medical college okay so this is for what for giving you educational opportunity but actually this examination does not give equal opportunity to every student why because you see uh, people who are coming from backward classes they are probably not getting quality schooling so if they are not getting quality schooling how will they excel in this examination understood so they probably don't have the capital to take coaching for such examinations so good performance in an examination does not reflect hard work but uh, and does does reflect hard work but does not always reflect merit solely of one's own making so this means that if your performance in an examination is good of uh, it obviously it means you have worked hard but it does not mean you are very much meritorious you are very much talented on your own because there are some things which are hidden and what are the things from which family you come if you come from a good family you have access to good things you have access to books you have access to technology internet you have access to coaching centers now which school you have gone to if you have attended a good school then there are good teachers and you have all the materials needed for your preparation fortune fortune means money and a gift of talents these things are hidden okay now and these things are um, the things that the society currently values aids in one's advancement and these are the things that actually helps in one's success fine now uh, this person justice dy chandrachur this person also raises one more question can marks be used can marks be a measure of one's individual merit can marks be a measure of one's individual merit when there are so many things in the background what are the things which family is the uh, child coming from where has the candidate uh, been schooled which school he has gone to uh, does he have equal cap does he have adequate capital for his studies so these are the many things which are there in the background which should be considered okay so merit alone merit is not one's own making merit comes from many other things okay seen in the light reservation ensures now if you if you consider all these things then you will understand that 
reservation actually makes sure that the backward classes also get equal opportunities they also get opportunities which they are being deprived of because of some barriers because of the family because of the situation they are in now the provision of the facility of 27 percent reservation for obcs within the aiq aiq means what here the full form was there it means all india quota okay so the 27 percent reservation for obcs within the aiq this was introduced in july 2021 it it was it is implemented from 1986 the aiq always <coughs> was envisaged <coughs> as a domicile free quota to access medical education in all colleges in the country okay so aiq is what aiq is a domicile free quota domicile free means it doesn't matter which state you belong to uh, you will get this quota okay you will get this quota 27 percent quota mm, uh, obcs will get 27 percent quota it comprises of 15 percent undergraduate medical and dental seats which means mbbs and bds and 50 percent postgraduate seats which means mds and md okay uh, for two decades there was no reservation in this segment for two decades there was no reservation in the segment in 2007 the court allowed the introduction of 15 percent reservation for scs and 7.5 percent for sts so in 2007 it was again introduced okay even when the obc quota was introduced in central government institutions alone there was none in state colleges so in central government institutes obc quota was there in here we are talking about medical colleges please remember this medical and dental colleges in central government institutes there was quota for obcs but in state colleges there were no quota for obcs and this decision should be this discrimination this separation should be ended okay and uh, there has been an official order on it the court has rejected the argument that there is a so there is an argument that in postgraduate medical examination there shouldn't be any quota because reservation is not needed here once a person has passed mbbs or bds that person has become uh, al uh, already the, that person um, has been empowered so that person does not need any more reservation but this is not true the court has rejected it because the impact of backwardness cannot disappear the impact of backwardness cannot disappear once a person becomes a graduate okay so this is the entire editorial